So welcome to my studio. This is the Wild Treasures of an Outdoorsman YouTube channel. I got a very important video for you tonight. My name is Peter Updike. First and foremost, on February 3rd, coming up, we're going to be at the True Heart Ranch for the Turkey Extravaganza. I'll be there. I'll have my table set up. It's in Webster, Florida from 8 o'clock to 2 o'clock. Again, that's the True Heart Ranch in Webster, Florida. I've got a brochure here somewhere, but yeah, here it is right here. I don't know if you really need to see that. You can search it out on your smartphone and it'll come up. And uh, yeah, your smartphone will even give you a map on how to get there. I hope to see you. Hope you come out. I'll be there and I'll have my table set up just to talk about hunting and fishing. Now there'll be a turkey call makers there there'll be artists there there'll be food there i think there's gonna there's a whole list of people that's going to be there and they're they are there to to sell their products and uh parking is free admission is free all you have to do is show up you really don't have to buy anything just come and and visit and uh, learn a little bit about turkey hunting here in the state of florida and people come from all over the southeast uh yeah to to be at this event this event just keeps getting bigger and bigger and i'm so excited it's already been a year time to do it again and yeah as far as i know i'm gonna be doing it from here on out i enjoy it so much i enjoy meeting all of you whether you buy a copy of my book or not and or maybe you've already got a copy or maybe you come to get a copy one way or another i'm there to meet you and just to be with other people that share the same interest. That's hunting and fishing in the great state of Florida. So y'all come by. Of course, it's a turkey extravaganza because spring gobbler season is coming. And uh, we're gearing up for that. So I've got a little uh, portion of this video is done in the field. When I say the field, down in the green swamp. I'm going to show that to you right now. I think it's a little important lesson. And uh, it's only just a, a minute or so. And uh, then I'm going to be right back because we're talking about... Florida hunting regulations simplified. I'm going to simplify them for you. A uh, feller commented on the last video, and uh, yeah, I don't think he knows. And for anyone else that doesn't know, I'm going to share with you how I find the regulations for the management area that I want to hunt on public land. But first, let's go down to the green swamp, and let me share this thought with you. So here's my situation. Came down here, took a lot of time to find this spot. It's a good spot. Here's my tree stand. And uh, I got in here, I got in my tree. I've been sitting in it for about 30 minutes. And I looked over here, and this is what I saw. Today, the winds are supposed to be gusting up to 20 miles an hour. Check this out right here. And this is the tree I'm in. Yeah, man. Do yourself a favor when you see something like this. Let's get down and find another spot. I got my safety harness. I spent a lot of time getting back in here. I would hate for that thing to fall and trap me up in that tree. That is a real and present danger. Love you guys. See you. Bye. So there you have it. Uh, yeah, it's every step we take when we when we're in the wilderness alone could be a big mistake. We need to watch our P's and Q's when we're down in the wilderness alone. Of course, I always have my spot locator. I've always got my cell phone with me. I always leave a float plan at home, letting my wife know when I'll be back, where I'll be, and uh, yeah, a little. When I leave a float plan, if I'm going to a management area, I always tell my wife what county I'm going to be in. And I always instruct her to call the sheriff's office. Don't bother calling anybody else. Just call the sheriff's office of that county. And then tell them where I am, that is, what management area. And then the road and the general area of where I'll be. And, uh, yeah, if I'm not home by dark, that means I'm stuck out there somewhere. And I would like to know that somebody was calling. And if they say, well, he hadn't been gone long enough, you just raise hell until somebody listens. Okay? You tell your better half 
if you're not home, and you should be, to raise all out hell until you get a hold of somebody that's going to listen. And uh, yeah, even if you got to threaten, if you don't send somebody out there, I'm going out there myself to look for them. And yes, usually if you raise enough cane, you'll get somebody's attention. And if you have the proper information, they'll be more inclined to help you. If you just say, well, I don't know where he is. He's somewhere in the Ocala National Forest. Well, that takes up three counties. So uh, yeah, it could be it could be a little bit harder to do. But anyway, um, the rules and regulations I had a fella comment, and and I could tell there's a little frustration on his part about the rules and regulations because he voiced in the you know, I, I want to do the right thing, but I'm reading the regulations in the regulation book and I'm confused about the deer management units, the zones, what should I be looking for, what shouldn't I be looking for. So we're going to boil that down tonight in in a short, very to the point way to find out what the rules are for the management area that you want to hunt. Now, I've always said that if you want to hunt public land in Florida, that every management area is an entity of itself. That is, Ocala National Forest, the Green Swamp, Rich Loam, Osceola, Big Cypress, all of these have, all these management areas have names. And if you're going to be hunting public land, you're going to be hunting on a management area, unless it's a, a, a wildlife refuge or something, but we're, we're, we're talking about wildlife management areas, okay? If, if, if I move to an area, and I see that there's a wildlife management area there and I want to go hunting there, I'm going to need to know the name of that area, whether it be Half Moon, Jumper Creek, Potts, whatever, because every management area has its own list of rules and regulations. And this fellow said, why can't just everything be the same? Well, it can't be the same because the management areas are significantly, not just a little bit, but a lot different. Some of them are very small. Some of them are small in near big cities. So you can't have that management area managed like you would, say, um, Cedar. Uh, uh, what, was that? what was the management area I was thinking of? Uh, Cedar Key. And Cedar Key is way off in the boonies, right? You couldn't have that one like you would Seminole. Seminole's near Orlando. So those two, and, and one's a little bigger than the other. And one is surrounded by uh, urban area, while another one is surrounded by wilderness. So you can't manage those two the same, so they couldn't possibly fall into the same category. And some of them are very small, and a lot of people want to hunt it. Therefore, you have to have quota hunts. And some of those quota hunts are very short, like three days. And then that's it. There's no more hunting in that management area after those three days. Maybe there's an archery hunt. Maybe there's a muzzleloader hunt. And maybe there's a gun hunt on any given management area, and maybe there's not, right? So if, if you want to hunt public land in Florida, near your home or anywhere else in Florida, you're going to need to pick a management area. Now, I hunted three or four management areas this deer season. I hunted, um, I hunted in Gothi, hunted in Ocala, I hunted in... Uh, green Swamp, and even Ocala is broken down into th four different units, and those four different units have different rules and regulations, so you'll need to dive in a little deeper. But all of that information for whatever management area that you choose to hunt it can be found on the website under the category of brochures. When you go to the minute, go to the website, and we're going to go here in a minute. We're going to go to the website, and we're going to look under brochures. And I'm going to show you. I know a lot of you already know this, but I, I kind of want to do a video. So we're going to go to uh, myfwc.com, and we're going to go to things to do. All right. Now I've already got the page up, but I just need to say this to you things to do so there's the here's the page okay and right here is hunting 
under hunting, you got regulations. And here you got brochures. You know, click on brochures. And then this page is going to come up right here. And say, get brochures now. And you're just going to click on that. And then you're going to go over here and see it says search by specific area. And you're going to click on that. And then you're going to search for the WMA that you want to hunt. That's near your home, right? And you can just type it in here. Let's say Jumper Creek. And right there it comes up. Look, there's Jumper Creek. And you can click on that. And then click on View Detail. Now, this is the brochure. And it also comes with a map that you need to click on. But we're just going to scroll down. And here it has all of the general rules for that management area. Bag and possession limits is something that changes from management area to management area. Archery seasons are different. By dates, muzzle loader. Some management areas do not have a muzzle loader uh, season. General guns, some of them are very long and some of them not so long. Small game season, trap and spring gobbler seasons coming up. All of these will apply to this management area and this management area alone. Okay, you cannot take the information found in the regulation book of the Florida Fish and Wildlife regulations and apply it to the management areas. You have to look under each management area. Let's just go to the gun season. All right, so right here it shows you November 4th through 12th and November 13th through 31st. Well, Peter, why do they have that November 4th through 12th and then November 13th? So isn't the 12th give way to the 13th so all the way to December? Well, the, the reason they have that like that is my understanding is that a quota permit is required if hunting the first nine days. So the quota permit hunt is the 4th through the 12th. And then November 13th through the 31st is open hunting. Whoever shows up can hunt. Here, Right here it'll say permit, stamp, and license requirements. Quota permit, hunting license, management area permit, deer permit if hunting deer, migratory bird permit if hunting migratory birds. And then here it says legal to hunt deer with at least one antler, Having three points on on one side, three points, one inch long or length, or or ten inch main beam or more on one side, and of course wild hogs. So that's how you find out the rules and regulations for the management area that you want to hunt. Now, if I decide I want to go down to the green swamp. It's going to be different, okay? You can't not apply those rules to the green swamp. Click on green swamp. Click on view detail. Here it is. This is the brochure for the green swamp. And again, it gives you general information about the green swamp. And you don't, you, you, you don't need to go to the state regulations. All you need to do is go to the brochure and all of the information here. They got a wild hog season. They got an archery season, general gun season, small game season. And they may not have that. In other management areas, I don't know if all management areas have a wild hog. So this is unique to the green swamp. Okay, here's your archery season. It's October 27th through November 26th. Now that one's pushed back a little bit. So the archery season is not the same as it would be, say, in Ocala. Now you'll see here it says daily quota permit. That means you have to go through a little check station and get your daily quota permit i don't know why they do that but it's okay you just go through and they just take your give they give you a little ticket and you go in and they know how many people are in there hunting i've never been turned away okay i've always gotten in except maybe uh if you go on the first saturday of spring gobbler season i think now they got a two-day quota permit for the spring gobbler season but uh i don't want to make this more complicated than it is 
If you want to go hunting on public land in Florida, you will need to decide what management area you want to go to. Then you'll need to look up that management area on the brochures, whether it's Ocala or Jumper Creek or Green Swamp or Osceola or Big Cypress makes no difference. You're going to go to the brochure for that management area and just and just put the deer management unit on the back burner. Put the zone in the back burner. Those things really won't apply once you get the brochure. And once you look on that brochure and see the details of that area, okay? And once you have that information, well, then you'll be ready to go. The only thing that I would tell you is a lot of management areas require a quota permit. And when you're reading the portion that says permit, stamp, and license requirements, if it does not mention quota permit, that means you don't need one. And all you need to pay attention to are the dates of the hunt. If, you, if a quota permit is required, it will say hunting license, quota permit, then you'll be required to have a quota permit. And if you don't have one, well, there's no time to get one now. You'll have to wait until May 15th. I think it's May 15th through June 15th is when we apply. you got 30 days to apply. And that's another video for another time. But there's no reason to, to, to be confused about this. This is really quite simple. Whatever management area you want to hunt, it has its own rules and regulations. And, uh, and it's all quite simple. All you've got to do is find the brochure on the website. I think you can go to the uh, tax collector's office if you don't have a computer or you have trouble. I think you can go to tax collector's office and pick up brochures. I think they've got them right there where you buy your hunting and fishing license. You can get a paper brochure for whatever management area you want. At least they used to. It's been a long time since I've been in there, so I don't know. But... Uh, yeah, it's, it's really quite simple. I hope this helps. We've already taken up quite a bit of time, and uh, yeah, I'll have to keep my videos a little short. But uh, it, any questions, I appreciate all of you. Like and subscribe if you want to. This is the Wild Treasures of an Outdoorsman YouTube channel, and uh, happy to bring whatever information I have that's going to help you to navigate the rules and regulations of Florida deer hunting on public land, hog hunting. we got a lot to offer. Get out there and take advantage of it. All right, love you guys. Talk to you soon. See you. Bye.